Hello everyone, it's uh, Press to Play here again, and uh, I just got this in the mail today. I'm really super excited about it. Um, the new Paul McCartney book, Photographs and Reflections by Paul McCartney, 1964, Eyes of the Storm. This book looks incredible. It's very, very heavy. <laughs> so I thought I would do a, just a quick, very quick glance through the book so you can get an idea of what the book looks like um, and my initial thoughts on it and all, all that kind of stuff if you're interested in buying it. It's not cheap, so if you wait a little while, the price will likely come down a little bit, but uh, it's a beautiful, looks like a beautiful book. Anyway, there's the cover, and the side has Paul McCartney, 1964, Eyes of the Storm, and here's the back. Wow. It looks incredible. So let's get this open and take a look at it. It's very cool. I also have the uh, Ringo book, if I can get this open, uh, from Genesis Publications called Photograph. And it has uh, all of Ringo's photos. And a very, very nice book. And I'll do a, an unboxing of that one of these days so you can check it out. It also has a bookstore edition, so you don't have to pay a fortune for it. But the one I got is uh, signed by Ringo and everything. It's pretty cool. There is a, um, an edition of this that's signed by McCartney. I can't even imagine uh, the price on that. Um, it would be amazing to have a copy of it. This is really nice right off the bat. So I'm going to take this off because I do want to keep it. I do, well, yeah. yeah, I'll keep it on there, whatever. Take a look at the cover. It's, a, it's not shiny, but it has a nice feel to it. Very high quality book it feels just the weight of it it's very 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 heavy so again i won't go through the whole book obviously but i'll give you a quick glimpse of what the book looks like and it's heavy paper which is nice too so there's the uh, table of contents you got um, beetle land photographs liverpool london paris new york washington miami coda another lens and then a timeline at the uh, at the end, which we'll take a look at that and see what that looks like. So there's a forward by Paul. And that's a cool picture of Mr. McCartney, or Sir McCartney, I should say. Sorry, Paul. So there's some notes at the beginning. I was curious to see if there's a lot of writing in the book or whether it's just a collection of photographs. But there's a lot at the beginning, which is nice, by Aaron Copeland. So there's a lot of information at the beginning of the book. Let's kind of leap through quickly. Hmm. And then the, oh, wow. So this is kind of like, uh, it's not shiny. It's just probably because you're, you're reading the text. This is a much heavier paper. And it's got a, a gloss. Yeah, they're glossy. Oh, wow. This is, this is beautiful. Through the eyes of Mr. McCartney. Look at that. So insanely cool. So there is some text in there as well. So it looks like at the beginning of each chapter, there's a, there's a little bit of information about the photographs themselves. There's Brian, John. These are great. They're so innocent, right? You're, you're getting a glimpse of this, the madness that they were going through, but from the eyes of, of Paul. There's Paris. That was Paris we just looked at. But just really, that's a cool photo. John. So it looks like a beautiful. Wow, this, I can't wait to go through. I'm going to get a cup of coffee <laughs> and go through this book tonight. It looks just incredible. Well, look at the timeline. Oh, some color photos towards the end. You can see some color photographs. This is all black and white. So there's some color photos in there, which is nice. But this looks awesome. What I do like, again, is that at the beginning of each city, they have a little few notes about the photographs, which is, and the dates. So February 13th to 21st, 1964. This is before I was even born. It's crazy how, there's the White House. This is like a tourist, right? This is his first view of the White House. It's, just, it's so uh, cool to see the 
kind of the world through the eyes of Paul during this time. Then at the back of the book, there's a timeline. And this paper is kind of regular paper again. So that's really cool too. So it goes through all the dates. The key events in 1964. And then there's notes at the back. Beautiful book. Beautiful book. Just, wow. I'm so happy. Beautiful photographs from what I can see. I'm going to go through this tonight and take a look at it. But beautiful paper. Beautiful production. I like all the information at the beginning. Wow. I love it. So there you have it. Paul McCartney, 1964, Eyes of the Storm. I'm pretty excited and pumped up about this. I'm going to go put on a pot of coffee and just sit back and go through the photos tonight. So thanks, Paul, for doing this. Like just gathering. And what's really, when you think about it, what's insanely cool is that he kept all those photographs all this time. He just kept everything. And, uh, you know, who would have thought that back in 1964, in year 2023, he'd be publishing all those photos. And looking back on history incredible incredible document of history of, of that time and of that year it's a uh, incredible anyway if you're uh, new to my channel if you like the content don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to click the bell because you will be notified when i do uh, post new content and uh and to all my returning subscribers thank you for your support as always take really good care of yourselves um and I'll be back for more and take, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I, I got lots of box sets I want to dig out. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I pull out next. Anyway, take really good care of yourselves and we'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.